Hello everyone and welcome to another session with Dashboard Gear. Today we're going to be talking about SQL wildcard searches. A little bit different for me. We're not doing it live and I'm recording this ahead of time. So uh, I don't have any other special effects or fancy treats for you just because I'm recording it live, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy today's tip. Today's tip is how to do wildcard searches. I get this question a lot from uh, some of my SQL users and uh, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to go over here to my other screen and we will go from there. All right. So today we're going to talk about the wildcard searches. And in this, what I have is a query up that says select all from vendor master. Now, a common request is I want to find specific vendors that have names or employees that have specific names. I don't know the full name uh, of what's there. So in SQL, the, you're probably familiar with the like term. So normally when you're looking for a particular value, you might say something like equals, and then you put in, you know, some vendor, and it's searching for that specific uh, vendor name. Well, I want to look for a vendor that I don't know the full name to. So um, I know it has Baxter in it. So I'm going to use the term like in this instead of equals because it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's close. And I know it has Baxter in it. Now, SQL has a couple different wildcards, and I'm going to go through both of them. The first is a percent sign. So if I do Baxter percent, what this is going to do is anything that starts with Baxter and can end in any combination of characters is what will return here. So if I execute that, it's two vendors come up for Baxter Healthcare. Now the other wildcard that's there, I could put it in twice and I could say a percent Baxter percent and this means it has Baxter anywhere in that string. So if I execute this, I still get the same two items. Probably a, a better uh, test here would be, uh, I'll put in health. And then I get all my vendors with health somewhere in the string. The other thing you can do is I say anything that where it ends in a particular value. So I see corp here. So I'm going to say percent corp. And that would be anything that begins with whatever, but ends in the word corp. So you surround it with percent signs. If anywhere in the string, you put a percent at the beginning, if you want to search for it, wherever there uh, at the end, and you put a percent sign at the end, if you want it to begin with the particular value. Now, another search character that exists, you know, I'm going to start, I'll go back to Baxter uh, percent sign. So this is anything that begins with the word Baxter. The other wildcard character that's available in SQL is the underscore. Now, the what the underscore is, is searching for anything that uh, is that single character. So this, what this is saying is anything that has whatever character here at the beginning and then axter and then a percent sign. So if I execute this, I still get uh, just two, but I'm going to remove a few here because I think I have some like that. Yes, so sax. So it began with whatever and it had an ax next and then it ended with whatever. So um, the, per the underscore is a single character wildcard. The percent is any combination of character wildcard. So by using the two of those things, you can find pretty much any pattern within it. Now, some of the things you got to watch out for when you're doing a like that I run into quite often, we, we frequently connect to a system called Lawson Software, which is an ERP vendor, and they store their data in a binary format, which means that the characters are case sensitive. So like if I go over here, so I was searching the vendor S name, but if I would come over here and say vendor uh, V name, which is the one next to it, which you see is lowercase. If I, if I search here for, I'll put in Baxter again, I'll just put Bax. But if I, if I search for Bax like that, it would have found that in the S name. But if I do it here, it's not going to find it because it's case sensitive. So some things I typically do to be a little bit careful is um, you can put in, um, oops, 
if we're switching between different systems here, I put in a uh, upper uh, to uppercase it. So it's always comparing the uppercase value to what I'm searching and then it will find it. So it treats this like uppercase. The other thing you have to watch out for is trailing or leading spaces. And I covered this in a previous session around the different trim functions, but you'll notice on the vendor number, they store their vendor numbers with the leading padding here on the spaces, at least on this instance that I'm looking at here. So you might need to, to do trim, L trim and R trim, which will remove left characters and R trim is the right characters. So you might need to pad or or trim or uppercase or lowercase, whatever, just to make it consistent. So just be careful on that. So kind of a quick summary for the like character, percent signs for multiple character searches, underscores for single character searches, and then you should be able to find pretty much whatever you need at that point. So thanks for joining today's session and looking forward to another session with you next week. Thank you.